input from audience members that um, sometimes they would see a show and have a post-show discussion and say, oh, I've, if only I had known that before seeing the show, it really would have um, enriched my experience. So we thought, well, let's give that a try. So basically the goal of these pre-show talks is to give you some insight into um, the, the original source material for Phaedra Backwards, look a little bit at what's unique in this version of the story and what Marina has brought to it, and then also to talk a teeny bit about some production elements and kind of give you some things to watch for throughout the show. So before we start, how many of you know anything about the Phaedra myth or the Phaedra story? Great. Rumors about a cow. There, and the rumors are true. <laughs> One of the things that Emily said that really has resonated for all of us was that we're using, that that's kind of a metaphor for how we're approaching this play. We're not building instruments that look like bones. We have bones, we have real bones. And so for the actors to think about, you know, we're not building histrionics here. We're not building props of despair and tragedy. We have that in our depths. This play is about the incomprehensible. It's about um, letting the incomprehensible into your life. And I think that's absolutely true in terms of the content of the play, of, of the Minotaur, that he's kind of this, this incomprehensible, mysterious thing. And how different would this family have been if they just kind of embraced that? Um, but I think it also really speaks to the experience of the play and that same idea of letting it wash over you and just being being open to the experience and just kind of resting into it and letting it happen. 